welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be making a Mexican inspired, delicious, easy, summery fish recipe. I'm be making Mexican fish tacos. sustainably sourced cod the first thing we're going to have to do is salt the cod because we are going to be frying it all with some spices we want it to be a little bit crisp so any moisture that's left in there will kind of jeopardize how crisp your taco fish will go so I've just simply covered this in coarse sea salt and we're gonna leave it for about 15 minutes giving us enough time to make the chunky guac for the guac I'm gonna be using one or two avocados depends how much guac you like and then I'm also going to be putting in some chunky red onion, tomato, a little bit of lime juice. Rather than using garlic, fresh garlic, which can sometimes taste a little bit bitter, I'm going to use garlic powder. I just think it's much easier to use. And then maybe a little bit of chilli, just for a little kick. got most of the moisture out of the fish using the salt just got to wash it off and rinse all the salt off we're going to cube it and pop it into our saucepan ready for the spices <music> Now we're just going to pop this into a non-stick frying pan, ready for our spices. Now to season our fish, I'm going to be making a spice mix using paprika, cumin, cayenne pepper, garlic and a little bit of oregano. fish make sure you are as gentle as possible otherwise it will just disintegrate and break up you do want some good little lumps of fish in your taco while our fish is cooking I'm going to take a big frying pan down and we're just going to lightly toast our tortillas this will add a lovely texture of crispiness with our soft fish and our tangy guac it's definitely worth doing Tears are ready, our fish is done, let's start building those tacos. so much for watching this recipe better give this bad boy a go it's so delicious so easy so so fast don't forget to subscribe comment like all of that shebang follow my socials my instagram my twitter i'll see you guys again next time i'm gonna tuck it in mm.